Hey there folks, Cozzy here, drafting for Pick 1 Pack 1 with our Rakano Aggro deck. Um, minus a couple of Oni Ronin, which in retrospect I would have loved to have had. I can't quite remember what the opportunity cost of those picks were, but I'll look forward to going back over the video and seeing what I actually missed out on to have some solid 1-drops. I just kind of assumed that we are going to see some 2-drops coming through, which we never really did. I don't think it's a case that my cards, my colours were getting, um, getting cut per se, because we saw things like late torches. We saw things like very late torches. Um, and so... Yeah, it, we definitely saw some unusual packs. It's like there was that early pack that almost had exclusively film cards in it. And an argument could be made that I could have shifted over earlier and probably would have been a better deck. Um, we saw the Cabal Con Countess, we saw a lot of really late stuff. I even, you know, picked into the... Lethrari Ranger and a couple of cards like that speculatively, but I felt like I was already committed once I'd got some really high quality uh, Rakano weapons. Like, it's not as though we're, we're short on good stuff. We're just short on a balanced deck of two drops. Uh, which probably means that if we can jump the two and get through that without too much pain and get into the threes and fours and keep up that tempo, so we don't lose too much tempo for that slight underdevelopment, then we're probably going to be fine. And I imagine our losses are probably going to be from us getting stuck and not having early things to do. <coughs> Excuse me. This has me nervous, but it has an amazing turn four. If I can cast both the Rune Hammer as well as the Armor Smith, I feel as though I can catch up with anywhere. So this is really a much a case of keep. Hope that they're either slow or that I draw my fourth. And hammer in with a 1 1 in the meantime. But yeah, beautiful little synergy here. I'm happy to try and get value out of my cards. If I was them, I don't think I'd block. But I'm glad that they did. And so we've been able to get that little war cry off. Get a bit of damage in. Deal with the 2-2. Two -two. We are down one card though. Okay, so this is where our planes can fall apart. We've had three turns so far. Not drawn a power. <coughs> Excuse me. Statistically, we should have drawn one by now. And we really want to draw it right now. Whew. So I can go strong on the aggro, rune hammer smack in, hold back, have both of these guys to block. I could play my flyer, turn that into an O2. No, I think this is too strong. Ah, oh, okay. I made an incorrect assumption there. Um, I just assumed that this would have enough power for it to work. I've now opened this up for a bad exchange. Okay. Live and learn. I think what I want to do is turn off his ability to war cry. Because that's definitely going to represent more of a problem for me in the long run than him attacking in for 3 damage this turn. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. I, I just assumed, because I've seen it in the weapons decks in Constructed, and they always have 2 or higher armor. Uh, just goes to show, you should read the card. I'm a little bit on tilt from my last draft, which is unusual for me. Normally I'm pretty pretty calm when it comes to analysing board states and things like that, but I didn't bother to read my card, and um, I'm definitely going to pay for it now. I was saying in the last video, this is a phenomenal card, and that's exactly why. At least we still got... um. Uh, parody exchange, I just I should have gotten a lot more out of it to be perfectly frank, should have gotten a lot more out of it I 
I'm happy to exchange 3 damage for 5. I'm aware that he's held up all his power, so there could be something like a finest hour in my future, but that doesn't kill this. Okay, that's curious. Okay. Uh, I mustn't be able to deal with flies despite playing in Primal, I guess. Or, um, had a very expensive hand and nothing to spend it on. I don't know. That's a surprising, um, early concession. But <laughs> given my run, I'm happy to take whatever I can get. Because this has been a rough old couple of drafts for me. I think it's back-to-back 1-3s. -back and, um, you know what? That, that's part of Eternal. It really is. Uh, you can play well, you can play tight, you can draft decks of, you know, okay to solid quality. And I think out of those, you know, we had three, three instances of power getting in the way. Um, this is dicey. If I draw the third power, I'm laughing. I can go out of the gun gates really aggressively and the Steel Frank Shark Room. I think we keep it even though there is a strong element of risk here. District Infantry is definitely the one we're attacking in because it's the one that's going to be the most difficult in the block. And that is a little bit unfortunate, but it could have a lightning storm. Can we afford to play around it? Not really, our whole deck's predicated. Oh, uh, actually, perhaps we could. We're going to be going Ticking Granadan into sort of a Carrier, which will get rid of whatever blocker. The actual speed of going... 6 gets him down to 16 straight away. I think it is... Although then we'll have no creatures to put the Chakram on, which will be very sad. I think that's how we automatically just lose the match without even turning up, is by getting that greedy. And so I don't quite want to take that risk. If I had a decent 3-drop or something in my hand... I'd probably be happy to get that bit more aggressive. Not the best trade in the world, but the fact that I get my Warcry through and I have another one is half the reason why I'm happy to do so. power we're laughing this is great though it's going to be turning my sword of Akari into a beast the stranger theme deck that seems sweet So if we kill the Determined Stranger... The other one goes back to being a 2-2. Two -two. This is a fast spell, but I don't have any power left. And the one thing I really want to do is keep this so it can attack again. If I need to chump, then so be it. But I'm happy to also keep staying on the front foot. Oh, that hurts.
missing this last power is really hurting us. If I attack in, he likely blocks here. He might let these go through. I can hold that up, but it's got quick draw, so it doesn't matter. currently winning this race. If I can get this cheap off my temper, then I think I'm in a great spot. So we'll see if we can tempt him. No, he knows how to play. We attack, he probably blocks there. He's taking four, five, six, putting him on seven. I can play my Valkyrie. Yeah, I'm happy trading that way. I'm definitely winning this race. If he chump blocks, I'm still fine. I mean, if he puts me on a chump attack, I'm still fine. What I can then do. gonna be taking three going to four he'll have to double block if he wants to kill that and a block so he'll have to take two otherwise he can single block 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 go down to one I think we just do this one at a time and trade these resources out I shouldn't have played the power there though that's a mistake Pretty sweet seeing a stranger deck be viable though. He's forced to single block here so he doesn't die, which means he can't double block on the district infantry. And now hopefully we can get the overlap or just keep wearing him down thanks to the chakra. Unfortunately, we need to draw something other than power soon. Oh, he did have a play. Wow. Torch. I'd like to see a torch. I'd like to see an overwhelm. I'd like to see a creature. And we've finally broken the 1 3, which is nice. <laughs> Feels long overdue. Very nice doing it up against Jonah too. He's a fantastic player. Sweet. 2 0 so far. Let's see how we go with the rest of this Ricano deck. Definitely took a risk buying in. I was just frustrated. But yeah, that Chakram is a bona fide bomb. You just saw there how I was able to upgrade a whole bunch of silly one drops.
Uh, if I'm going first and I don't have two drops, I'm really hoping I draw a power. And I think it's too much of a risk just to hope on that hand. The reality is I've got good three drops no matter what I look at. And I actually like this hand a little bit better in a sense because I know that I'm going to be curving and then I can draw into them. I do hope not to draw any more power. Four is the limit of what I'd like to do. But at least now I can get on the front foot. Whereas before, I wouldn't have done anything by now unless I was lucky. I doubt they're going to want to trade, but I'm happy to offer it. And yeah, if I hadn't drawn the power there, I'd be facing down a 3-3, then a 4-4. It just would have gotten ugly. It would have gotten really ugly. Speaking of ugly, uh, drawing this much power is not helpful in any way, shape, or form. I'm happy to trade off with either of these though. I know, I know that I don't have a lot of equipment in my deck. So I'm happy to get value whilst I still can. Hmm. Do I want to cast this now? It's not opening up any attacks for me. And I can still do it next turn, it's just costing me one damage. If they cast something like the plus two, plus two weapon, I can two for one. I think we wait it for, on it for one turn. See if there's anything that's more lucrative. Definitely take the double block here. If they have the combat trick, then I'm in trouble anyway. I really don't need this power, and I can't afford for you to get too much bigger. I really don't like having to use it that way. attack in. It's interesting. I'm going to save this power now. I keep forgetting that I actually have things that care about it. Um, I was pl uh, building up in the idea that if I got my Steel Frank Chakram I could use it twice in a turn or something like that, but being able to make sure I can use my one drop effectively is important. Fortunately, I have my one stranger who can benefit from their lord. <laughs> I don't have any others in the deck, so I was lucky. And this is as good a chance as any to try and get some value out of the rally. doesn't help me. We'll stay back offering up a double block here. That way we can still keep the creature. But we just need to stop drawing power. Still Fang Shrakram right now would be amazing. Uh, I, I went back on the attack here because I can still chump block now. Um, and all that I really care about is getting through this clock as fast as possible. Um, they are going to win if this game goes much longer. So I need to attack and try and stop them from having that opportunity. That peacekeeper is going to be the way that they win.
Fortunately, they haven't... They've been screwed on power, so there is a likelihood. <laughs> what a likelihood. Sure. Watch me draw power. It's not bad, it gives me something that I can threaten to attack with, although I'm low on life and this is going to get overwhelmed, so they'll both stun and overwhelm when they draw this inevitable power. Which has turned their power into amazing top decks. I just need to hope that they don't draw power. So I need to hope that they don't draw power. Actually, no, I'm on way too low anyway. <sighs> we just flooded way too hard there. I um, don't think there was a huge amount that we could have done to have remedied it, unfortunately. Alrighty, well, we're two and one, which is an improvement on my last videos. So let's see how we continue going in the next video. Uh, I've been Cozy Drafting for Pick One Pack One, and I will see you guys in just one moment.